ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about this year, our latest product we have in our product range. I'd like to introduce this technology to you. It's indicated here on this wall with a little drawing and some examples. This is the lens. You can see the wavelength scale starting from 400 to 780, which is visible, from 780 to 900, which is NIR, and from 900 to 1700 or more than 2000 nanometer, this is called the sphere area, short wave infrared. And this kind of um, uh, um, lens is made for these sphere cameras, and this kind of uh, lenses is able to bring everything in focus, which is from 400 to 1700, 1800, 2000 nanometer. This makes a multiple, multiple or wide uh, spectrum analysis possible without refocusing. If you find in the product the good correspondence of certain wavelengths and you make a serious uh, uh, recording of the product, then you can stack the images later and can weight each image uh, to bring um, as, uh, um, uh, some uh, um, picture with the biggest, uh, with the greatest contrast. To show some uh, effects of this of sphere is, for example, the correspondence with material like water, which is black, under this wavelength range, in IR, invisible range, water is transparent. Oil stays also in sphere transparent. So in the mixture of water and oil, you can separate water and oil. If you have um, uh, fruits, if you press the fingers on, on the fruit, then you have a pressure and you can see water content uh, as uh, appearing black in the picture and the fruit is damaged. So you can sort good and bad. There's also possibilities uh, to um, to, de to determine if the production of cookies is um, uh, uh, according to your specs with uh, the content of fat in the cookies. So if there's too much fat inside, it will be too expensive. If there's too less uh, fat in the production, then the cookie don't taste. So it's a balance of uh, components which you can control with uh, this kind of application.